We begin with breaking news at noon. Sad news to report this uh, afternoon. Former Miami Dolphins head coach Don Shula passed away at the age of 90. The South Florida icon and legend put Miami on the sports map, winning two Super Bowls and retiring as the winningest head coach in NFL history. Good afternoon. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. It's a very sad day for Dolphins, South Florida, and the sports world. Don Shula will be remembered not only as the best coach in Miami Dolphins history, but as a man that did so much on and off the field for South Florida. CBS 4's anchor Jim Barry is live in the studio with a look at uh, Coach Shula's life and his legacy. Jim. Maribel, Don Shula, simply put, made Miami matter as a sports town. He coached with precision and commitment, and he lived with integrity. Donald Francis Shula was born January 4th, 1930, in Grand River, Ohio. Football got into his blood early. After playing at John Carroll University, Shula carved out a seven-year career as an NFL player. Uh, that's it. It was in coaching where he made his mark. When you get through, turn it on. Shula was just 33 when he was hired to coach the Baltimore Colts. For seven seasons, all was good. But when Joe Namath led the New York Jets to a stunning upset of the Colts in Super Bowl III in the Orange Bowl, Shula's world would forever change. Well, that was the game that uh, I was very embarrassed about. Our football team was embarrassed. Uh, my relationship with our owner, Carol Rosenblum, sort of came apart after that game. I ended up coaching there one more year, but it was never the same. Shula would be hired by Dolphins owner Joe Robbie in 1970. And the franchise would never be the same. The young coach promptly demanded perfection. Hold up, what's wrong with our snap count? Back in a huddle. It was a fight every day for every one of us. And he never tired. You know, everybody said he was this, he was that. He was possessed. He was like some kind of evil spirit that had endless energy. Soon, the Dolphins would be perfect, going 17-0 in 1972, a record which still stands as the NFL's only perfect season. It took four decades, but Shula and his legendary team finally got honored with a trip to the White House. The Dolphin dynasty won back-to-back -back championships by methodically grinding it out. This is the Vince Lombardi Trophy for the winner of the Super Bowl. But when the Dolphins drafted Dan Marino in 1983, all of that changed. The most competitive player that I think that's ever lined up in the National Football League. That's what made this guy so great. He wanted to win, and he would do everything that he could to help you win the football game. With the most gifted passer in the NFL, Shula turned the Dolphins into an aerial show. They reached the Super Bowl following the 1984 season, but lost to San Francisco, one of Shula's four Super Bowl defeats. He made six Super Bowl appearances, and his 347 wins are the most of any NFL coach. After 26 seasons with the Dolphins, Shula retired in 1996. This is the day that, that, that uh, you know, you never thought was going to happen. And it wasn't long before a statue was erected in his honor. So we need a drive. we got to put it together. we got to start running with the ball, pass protecting. Besides football, family also mattered to Shula. Sons David and Mike followed him into coaching. And David would leave to help grow the family business, building a chain of upscale steakhouses into an empire. Shula's first wife, Dorothy, died of breast cancer in 1991. He remarried Marianne Stevens in 1993. Shula loved family, but he lived football. As former coach Bum Phillips once said, Shula could take hidden and beat yarn, and yarn and beat hidden. The ultimate compliment for the ultimate coach. Shula comfortably would settle into the role of elder statesman. At the Dolphins Gala celebrating the team's 50th anniversary, Shula proposed a toast to the one thing to him that mattered most. In football, you don't have second best. They don't talk about being second best. They talk about winners. Here's a toast to the winners. In a statement, the Dolphins call Shula the patriarch of the franchise for 50 years. They praised him for bringing a winning edge to the Dolphins and offered their deepest condolences to the Shula family. I'm Jim Barry, CBS 4 Sports.